Welcome to Now in Android, your ongoing guide to what's new and notable in the world of Android development. This week, we are covering the 1.0 release of Media 3, Jetpack Compose 1.4, Crash Management, App Startup, Mitigating Software Verification Issues, and more. Media 3 is ready to play. We're pleased to announce the full release of the Jetpack Media 3 library, and we encourage everyone to adopt it. Media 3 is the new home for APIs that let you create rich audio and video experiences. If you've used libraries like ExoPlayer, Media Compat, or Media 2, you'll find Media 3 to be very familiar. However, instead of using these libraries separately, Media 3 provides both a unified API for playback use cases and expands to cover new use cases like video editing and transcoding. ExoPlayer has a new home and is the default implementation of the new player interface in Media 3. Check out our blog post for more information on the 1.0 release of Media 3. As part of Compose March 23 Bill of Materials, we're releasing version 1.4 of Jetpack Compose, Android's modern native UI toolkit that is used by apps such as Airbnb. This release contains new features like pager and flow layouts, and new ways to style text, such as hyphenation, and line break behavior. It also improves the performance of modifiers and fixes a number of bugs. Compose now includes out-of-the-box support for vertical and horizontal paging between different content. Using vertical pager or horizontal pager enables you similar functionality to the view pager in the view system. However, just like the benefits of using lazy row and lazy column, you no longer need to create an adapter or fragments. You can simply embed a composable inside of the pager. See what else is new in the Jetpack 1.4 release on our blog. The Mad Skills series focused on Jetpack Compose layout and modifiers continue with a community tip from Manuel Pereira, lead Android engineer at Bumble, who demonstrated fun designs with lazy layouts. And then Simona wrapped up the series, which covered everything from the basics of layouts and modifiers to advanced concepts such as modifier chain order and subcomposition. But wait, if this wasn't enough, there's more mad content. For ongoing content, be sure to check the Mad Skills playlist on YouTube, the articles on Medium, or the handy landing page linked below that points to all of it. Rebecca Gutteridge chatted with Anise Davis, VP of Engineering at Meta and Android GDE, about the impact of using Android Studio's App Quality Insights window. Android Studio's App Quality Insights window enables you to discover, investigate, and reproduce issues reported by Firebase Crashlytics directly within the context of your local Android Studio project. Check out the video snippet on the Android Show and the full blog post. And check out our short, What's Your Favorite Android Studio AQI Feature? Here are the most notable Android X releases since the previous episode. Wear Compose Media 3, version 1.0.0 Alpha 1. Material 3 on Wear Compose has released its alpha. It is designed to be cohesive with the Material 3 Compose library on Android. We also had some interesting articles. Tyson covered an introduction to App Startup and the do's and don'ts on the topic of pre-warming app features, detailing the cost of pre-warming in startup time, battery life, and user retention. Morton details mitigating soft verification issues in R8 and D8, which sheds light on how to avoid the negative impact on runtime performance and getting your app to run a bit faster on older devices. That's it for this week. With the release of Media 3 1.0, Jetpack Compose 1.4, the wrap-up of the Mad Skills Compose Layouts and Modifiers series, the impact of pre-warming on app startup, how to mitigate soft verification issues, and more. Check back soon for the next update from the Android Developer Universe.